I haven't really messed with a 240 size AIO for some time, because most of my builds typically fill out with a 360, or multiple radiators for that matter. Although ATX form factor is still vastly more popular, primarily due to lower costs and more hardware options, there are still some ITX chassis that have risen a lot in the last 3-4 to four years. Desktop real estate is absolutely important, so I partnered up with MSI to come up with a compact build that could essentially max out a 240 rad with no compromises on cooling, keeping things easy, simple to build, and also minimal hardware. Well, I'm personally not a closed case shoebox guy, so I had this, my own open air case design for build situations like this. It's very minimal, holding just the bare essential core components, like the Z890 ITX motherboard, an RTX 5080 Ventus, the A13 240 CPU cooler mounted on the side, an SFX power supply in the back, and absolutely no need for any case fans whatsoever, which saves money, build time, and a lot less cables, period. The only fans needed are on the radiator itself. Also, when I was designing this ITX case, I took into account very large modern graphics cards. For example, a 5090 Supreme or a 5090 Vanguard would still fit in here. What I also like about the A13 is that the cosmetic is simple just a flat silver plate with a minimal RGB ring around the edge of the CPU block. It comes with the fans already pre-installed onto the radiator, helping you skip a step. The LED strip in the pump cover and fans are connected via 3-pin ARGB header, so you can control it with virtually any motherboard RGB software, like MSI Mystic Lite. The cold plate does not have pre-applied thermal paste, but they do provide that in the bag. On the 240 size radiator, like the A13, I paired the Intel 265K, which is probably the highest I would go for Team Blue. But if you want an AMD rig, the 9800X3D is the biggest red chip I could recommend for this cooler. Additionally, the A13 AIO series does come in black and white, and they also go up to a 360 size if you wanted to pair it with a beefier CPU like a 285K or a 9950X3D. Now, as for the case itself, there are a lot more features to it, and I just don't have enough time in this short video to cover everything, so that's going to be reserved for a full review on YouTube at a later point. 